Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach, and I'm coming at you again with another video over on the Monarchy server. As you can see, we've got some things cranking pretty well. We're starting to raise a whole heck of a lot of stuff. Our wyverns are pretty close to being done. Pretty close, 83%. I'm hoping they don't die. I'm not going to bother to get a milk 400 food. We're going to hope that's enough. Um, so that's kind of what we're going for on that one. But as you can see, lots of tames. We got our tech rexes. This one we finally got a saddle on so we can actually use it. I'm going to use it to level up a little bit later. But we're breeding pretty much all of our stuff. Some decent stats. However, you're probably noticing some of the most important dinos to raise. I do not have raising. So that kind of sucks. Um, you can see we got plenty of velos, plenty of rexes going. So those are not like concerns. Gosh, I hate that they sometimes do that. Um, so we need to start hatching some other things of value. So we're just going to keep like cranking out eggs. That's what it comes down to. That's kind of how this game works. I've got some crappy wyvern eggs. Uh, maybe I'll try and sell those. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but outside of that, let's go ahead and pop these next couple. See what we get out of them. Just because, you know, that's always a fun thing to do. And then in this episode, I am going to go ahead and tame just about everything that I can. I need I need some tr tr Triceratops, Carbonemus, um, and pretty much all the other valuable stuff that I'm missing. Um, but until that point, it looks like we are going to be... Oh, that's a good one. That level 200 one's good. Uh, come on. Why can't I imprint on you? Oh, there we go. Got it. Alright, so that level 200 one turned out pretty nice. What is that? Uh, that is a terrible health. Oh my goodness, 12 health? Lovely. We're going to have to get better Velonosaurs at some point in time too, but we just need some in general for the time being. Some of these Argies, by the way, that I was popping out, uh, not Carrie Hawk, Warhawk is somewhere, yeah, she's over there. She does like 300 damage per hit, which is nutso in my opinion, because early game that is just amazing and you can fly away from things, plus the heal. Just all around an awesome tame. And we got some more Rexes. That's a cool looking one. That 255 came out well, huh? Oh my goodness. All right, 255. That's a uh, good Rex. What did we get on you? What did we get stats wise on you? Got the bad health, unfortunately, but look at that melee. Oh man, hello. Melee and stamina, 3949. Okie dokie. We'll take that all day. So that's pretty nice. All right, so let's make sure before we do any of this stuff that she has no food in there. So it's a good thing we checked that. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. We're gonna have to do like a meat run as long as we're doing this as well, because she's gonna feed all this stuff. So she should be taking care of that. That's all good to go. Um, yeah, that, that'll be all right. So we got enough meat in there to last, but we need to go tame some stuff before before anything else gets, you know, kind of funky, let's get some sleeping bags out just in case. You know, it's always a good idea to have some sleeping bags. And uh, where's my griffin? There it is. So I'd love to tame another griffin, but uh, yeah, sometimes they're not the easiest to try. It's nighttime. Of course it's nighttime. I might have to wait to go tame things until day. So I bring you guys back during the daytime. All right, guys, and it is back to daytime. As you can see, we got that nice bright sun up and running again. I have quite a bit of weight on me because some of the stuff that I'm carrying for taming is a little bit hefty, but I need to get some stuff pretty bad, so we're going to have to justify it. So we need a couple more everythings, in all honesty. A female high-level trike would be ideal, um, just with some decent health. We don't really care about the rest of the stats. Some stegos would be nice. Speaking of stegos, there's one right there. It is level 55, not even close. What about that one? It's a tech stego, 54. Okay, perfect. So that's what kind of what we're hunting for at this moment in time. We're doing drop hunts. Uh, probably get some cementing paste as well, as long as we're doing all this. Uh, just kind of a generic episode of, you know, tame some stuff, have some fun with it. Now, almost always things die. Uh, and, and I lose pretty much everything, but we're gonna pretend like that might not happen even though that was a sheep out there I'd like to tame that at some point in time um, But there was a 135 giganotosaurus out here uh, Where'd it go? Where'd the giga go? Uh, I don't know where the giga went I don't know where he went, but he is here somewhere and uh, yeah, that's terrifying because don't know where female 15 Why is it all of the high level things are gone dead stuff like that? But the Giganotosaurus or Gigantosaurus out here is, uh, it reduced its level to 15. So a new one must have spawned in, ruining the, you know, actual 135 that I had tried to get ready to tame. 
and didn't have everything I need for it, so it's gone now, sad day, but oh well, we still get to explore the map a little bit, so it'll be fun. Uh, I know that lots of Triceratops and stuff usually spawn on the beach, but I kind of want to just, you know, adventure around, learn this map a little bit more, red drop, and uh, kind of do what I can to see things in general. Okay, what level? Hello, griffins. I could always use another griffin, you know. What level is it? 55. Oh, there's another one. Uh, it's a Spino, 95. 140. Okay, that's a 140 Griffin. And it's gonna die via Spino. That sucks. Um, don't really know how to save that one. Sorry, bud. I'd like to tame you, but uh, you are not worth the effort at half health. Thank you, though. Could kill the Spino, but, you know, don't really feel like that's necessary. My Griffin Trap is there, though. Right, I'll give it a try. I need to get this red drop first, though, because red drop is more valuable than a maybe griffin. And please be something good. Eventually, I'm going to have to start going cave diving to actually tame some of these uh, valuables. Ramshackle flak gauntlet. Okay, not hyper useful. And let's go. Uh, where was this griffin, huh? I don't know how I'm going to aggro him. I'm just going to try and, like, pull him, but I don't know how it'll work. Um, my trap's up there, so it's possible that I can get him there. Alright, Spino and Griffin. Spino and Griffin. Let's see if I can find him. Okay. He just decided to chill. Please aggro to me. There he goes. He's on me. Okay, there we go. We're gonna soak probably just a little bit here. Because he's a little bit low on health, and I don't mind. Oh, I can burn him. Okay, so... That's how we're going to get him in the trap. We're going to have to go, like, full throttle it. Pull that guy off the edge. That's ideal. Okay, so we're just going to have to go to an angle right here. And full speed this thing. And hopefully this is the right angle. I think it is. It is. No! Really, Sabretooth? You going to be like that? my dude. I didn't really want that to happen. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Let you get a hit off. There you go. Now he's gotta do a giant turn. And we're gonna go ahead and sit right behind this. He's... Come on, aim in. Yes. He's in. Okay, come on now. Let me close it. No! Alright, so, so... That's open, at least. We have that opened. Getting him in here is going to be interesting. Alright, come on, let's try again. Follow me... This way. Yes. What I should do is I should tame a snow owl and heal him up. That's how I should be doing this, but... You know, I don't have a snow owl, so... Alright, and... Yes. All right. There we go. Okay. Let's see what kind of health he's got left. Anything going to kill me? Nothing. All right. So 2,000 health. That's plenty of health. 140 Griffin. Fire Pumpkin's on. How you doing, Fire Pumpkin? All right. 48 a shot. And how much does it give me? Looks like about 400, 500. That's going to be interesting. I mean, hopefully we're going to be good. That's, that's the hope. I mean, a, a level this high of a griffin doesn't happen very often, so you gotta be you gotta be careful. You gotta tame him when you can. I think it's gonna take like 20 or 30 shots, maybe? How did that shot not hit, game? Alright, I'll zoom in, because when you go into third person mode, there's that offset, which is incredibly stupid, but it's how it is. And sometimes it'll like, oh my goodness, it hit his tail, and that's why it didn't hit, game? That's incredibly stupid, but okay. I mean, a 140 griffin, though. I'm what? I, I know for a fact that was a hit game. There we go. Okay. We're just going to keep torping them up. And last time I was here, I had like six things try and get me. So let's hope that nothing shows up this time. He is going to be stupid low on health though by the time we're done with this. So we got to hope that this works out. If not, we can always leave render range. Hope he heals up a little bit. 
Sometimes that works. Not always, though. Okay, he got a hold of my griffin there. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean for him to, you know, have that happen. Wow, I don't think he's even right there, but I still got a shot off that counted. Okay, I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. Alright, but this is about as, like... I feel like he's low, like a low health griffin because he, I don't think he should be bleeding this much. Maybe that's just me. I'll put like four more shots into him and see where he's at. These strength darts are about as low as you can take something like damage wise in order to try and tame him. Especially with an increased overall long neck. Okay, game. Come on. That was, I literally saw that hit him. I'll do two more shots and then we'll check it. Like imagine in real life that like hitting something with this many trank darts, there's no way that thing survives this. <laughs> Alright, let's reload that and see where he's at. 8,000 out of 14, and he's going back down, so gotta keep torping him. At least that's a good thing. And that torpidity is uh staying. I still think that we might be close. It's gonna be a close tame, that's for sure. It's going to be like zero health when we actually finish this. Okay, game. Come on. How did that go? It technically clipped on the edge of that. Oof, duh. No thanks. Alright. I think he's running. But that doesn't mean Torp running. It just means he is running. Because in the game, sometimes they're trying to avoid you like this. Aha! Come on. Nothing. All right. Come on. Keep getting tranked. Shouldn't be too much more, buddy. You are super bloody. Hey, got him. That's what's up. All right. So let's look at the actual stats. I didn't really focus on those. I just saw 140. 24 melee, 25 um, weight, 29 stam is awesome. Yeah, he has a low health with 18, though, so that kind of sucks. Um, I don't know how many I'm going to need. I would assume, like, let's just leave 20 on him and assume that's going to be good. Last for 8 minutes on me. On him, it should be quite a bit longer than that. Yeah, 35. Okay. I don't know how much it's going to take. In all honesty, pretty sure that we don't need Torp on him. I might need to go get some narcotic in some way, shape, or form, but I want to see. I usually measure it by like the unconscious bar versus the taming bar just to see what one bite does. And if it doesn't work, we have big problems. Uh, so he's gone down 20 food. I guess I should probably start collecting some narco berries. Thankfully, I have a whip. That doesn't work, apparently. There we go. Now we're getting it to work. Get those increased, slightly boosted, increased stuff. Um, but a griffin is not too new shabby. I will... Uh, for sure be okay with that. I'd still like to get a Triceratops and a couple Carbonemus, maybe some Stegos as well. That's kind of my goal. Uh, but we'll see. And... Give me something so I know what kind of... What kind of stuff you're rocking here. Anything, please. Nothing? You're not gonna not gonna tell me anything? Just take a bite. One bite. That's all I'm asking for. One bite. So he's losing about a thousand torpidity. He should be having his first bite right about now, because it's what, 20, 40, he'll be down 50 with this in a second. 50 food, I mean. Really? Game? Come on now. I feel like that's a little bit excessive that he hasn't eaten yet. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. There he goes. Oh, that's going to be close, actually. 10% per. I'm going to give him these 30. Good 
going to be really close, actually, now that I think about it. I think he should be good, though. I mean, at 10%, it looked like it was pretty close. And those narco berries, you know, I'll just go down here and collect a couple of narco berries real quick. And then feed him to him, because I feel like he's supposed to just tame. But I'm not going to risk it, because it's a high level. So we're going to go ahead and grab a couple more narco berries. There's 10 narco berries, 16. Let's grab, like, I don't know, 30, 40? And that should be plenty. At least I think it should, because that's, like, a couple narcotic. Maybe I'll do it for, like, 10 more seconds. Because this is actually pretty easy. Get some silk. Be able to repair that whip. And... Where, where, did I just, like, not get any narcos at all? 60. Berries. Let's drop them. I get a lot, actually. You know, that should be, should be good, actually. And I'll keep those, uh, keep those other ones for taming other things. All right, we're going to feed him these, and then we're going to get out of here because he is hopefully going to tame. And we'll see how it turns out. That's kind of the best thing to do sometimes. Hope and run. All right, let's give you these 63, which is going to give you quite a bit of torpidity, actually. And it's going to build up over time, too, so that should buy us a little bit of time as well. We'll see. I think uh, he's going to be a close one. That's for sure. All right, now let's go check for some other stuff. See what else we can find out here in the wild. Uh, those are hyenodons. Don't feel like taming those right now. Good tames overall. Shockingly damage. Uh, shockingly large amounts of damage, I mean. Um... There's an Alpha Carno. Don't really want to tame anything near that. There's my friend's base right there. <laughs> uh, nothing nearby. Anything. Some Stegos. Some Carno. Carno action going on. Plenty of Alpha Raptors down there. Maybe I'll come back with my Warhawk and take those out. Get some of that lovely XP. It literally just, dude. Come on, game. Like Stego, I mean Turtle or Trike, you never have a hard time finding either of those two. I guess the rule of thumb is just like you see right here. If the game says no, the game says no. What level are you? 55 female. And 150 female. What? Okay. And what was the... Oh, I should probably help it, huh? Um, let's go ahead and zoom out of this. And go after this. Oh, no. It's going to die to this Rex. Oh, it's for sure going to die to that Rex. Game, you taunt me on some terrible level. You give me a 150, and then you make me watch it die in front of my eyes. That is so very frustrating. But it's Ark. It's like nobody is shocked by that. Watching a 150 perfect in front of your eyes. Rexes all over the friggin' place. Don't need Rexes. I need Triceratops. Hmm. Nothing. 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 I see plenty of birds. Parasaurs. No Triceratops again after watching that one die. Thank you, game. I really appreciate that. Like, come on. That's okay. Turtles, at least. Hello, turtles. Please be like 120. I think my, my rule here has got to be 120 plus. If it's not 120 plus or like shockingly good health for a low level one. What was that? 135 with 20 points. 20. Okay. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. That's for sure. All right, so yes, turtle. It's the green one, green-ish looking one. That's the one that we're taming. Need to remind myself that because the other one's gonna try and get in the way as much as possible. I do have kibble for this too, so that'll be very helpful. And turtle, 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 turtle. 
Yes, I do want to tame you. I do, however, want to avoid getting hit by your friend because I'm sure he does a little bit of damage. And neither... Oh, is he torped already? Look at that. Gotta shoot him in the leg. How did that not hit, game? Sometimes the best thing to do is go nice and close for the execute. All right, let's go ahead and grab the griffin to take out this turtle. And uh, that should give us, there he is. I was like, where is this griffin? I mean, the turtle. All right, so we will mark him on our map and just let him sit here for a second because I don't really have a need to tame him perfectly. I'm just gonna kind of track him. Okay, what are you built out of? Solid steel? Goodness gracious, come on now. I know for a fact that you uh, shouldn't be alive this long. Maybe this griffin's just like a little bit of a, uh, little, little bit of a light hitter, you might say. Oh my goodness, it takes five hits to get rid of all that. So let's track everything on the map. Uh, let's track all. Uh, I have a, oh, that's the double track, okay. This griffin, food is going down just fine. Unconsciousness level looks like it's doing pretty solid, actually. All right, so he's at 30% already. That's awesome. I will stay out of his render range. Rex, I swear, man, if you take out this turtle, I'm going to be real upset with you. All right. Now let's keep hunting. Tracking those two. And... Hopefully a Triceratops. If you don't use that griffin trick, you should, because it's very useful. You can kind of like carry it a long ways to that run on the ground, and it helps a ton. Stego. Stego could work, but it needs to be a high level one. 50, 20. Nope. No thanks. Not dealing with that. All right, Triceratops, please be here on the map somewhere. I know you are. You're probably just not where I am because the game doesn't really like making things easy. 140 female, Stego. 20 male, okay. What, what points do we got in the health on this one? I didn't even bother to look. That's a 30 point wild, okay. Yes, please. Let's go ahead and pull this thing away from the Stego. Hopefully it can show up over here. And Stegos are pretty fragging slow, so we should be able to get this guy. Where'd he go? There we go, okay. Yeah, so if you can get him in the head too, it helps a lot. Oh, you're pissed. You are an unhappy Stego. Let me come up here and make you even more unhappy. Well, I would like to make you my friend, actually, so if you could do that, that'd be really nice. I'd appreciate that. 16, because it's not a headshot game. Am I going to hit it from here? Yeah, I am. Okay, we can do that then. I'm cool with that. Really, Rex? Really? You're right there right now. Please get messed up by those Stegos. Oh, he's getting... Not anything happening to him. What? Okay, apparently this guy is amazing. The Rex is not having any damage done to it. Which is kind of unfortunate because I need him not to kill this Stego. Yep, he killed that one. Lovely. Can you not come up here, please? Go after whatever's down there. Okay. No, don't you run straight at me. That's just wrong. That is just mean game. Okay, cool. He's going back down the hill. What's the torpidity at on this guy? Oh, it's climbing pretty quick. Okay, we're good. I still think that Rex wants some. And this Stego needs to not be led up the hill. Honestly, if you turned around in there, that wouldn't be a huge issue. 
because I'll probably just use this to tame you. And just kind of like sit right here and soak for a second. Oh, I hit my griffin. That's not good. Oh, he's torped. Lovely. And I think we got the headshot off. Yes, we did. Okay. It's got to be close to unconscious. These are headshots too, so yeah, buddy. That's what's up. That is a good stego. I will take that. Yes, please. All right, let's add him to our tracker. Uh, track all. <clears throat> and what else do we need, huh? So we've got a stego, we've got a, well, I guess we have a turtle, a stego, and a griffin. So we don't have breeding pairs of any of those things. <laughs> oh, realistically, I need a trike. That's what it comes down to. I do need a triceratops. Be a high level female triceratops. That's what I need from you. That's a 55 male. Neither of those things. Neither high nor female. What about this one? How about you, huh? 50 male. 60 male. Okay, there's a sausage fest over here. What level are you? 90 female. Not that great. <clears throat> Fortunately, turtles are uh, a dime a dozen, so I just need to get a decent opposite gender and hopefully get that breeding pair out of it eventually. Ooh, there's some triceratops. And 55 female, 20 male, 50 male. I'm telling you, the game trolls me because it sees the fact that, hey, you know, he's looking for a high level female. Oh, there's a, that, that's a shockingly good find right there. Okay. I will tame another Carbo. Yes, please. Now, carbos are so slow that you can just like run and tame them. It's so nice. All right. Yep. The stego I'm going to use kibble on, I think, because that's a uh, very strong stego. Yeah. Really? Bees? They're faster, literally, than this, this turtle. We're going to go ahead and just destroy all these things because they are frustrating. The 140 Titanomora soldier, whatever it's called. Catch up to him again. Reload. Reload. Boop. There it goes. Okay. Add him to the tracker. Track all. And that is looking good, my friends. That griffin. Let's, uh... Let's hop on this to make sure we're nice and safe. Oh yeah, he's gonna tame just fine. Uh, this thing is getting unconscious pretty quickly, uh, but that's all right. I don't think we're gonna have a major issue taming him because they tame pretty fast. Um, none of those were good. We have pretty much trolled the entire beach here to see if we can get something. At least we got a breeding pair of turtles. That's pretty nice. Turtles are very fast and very useful for PvP. They soak pretty much everything. So that's always awesome. Another Stego Saddle BP. I have so many Stego Saddle BPs. That's why I need Stegos. <laughs> yeah, they're actually good, you know, in the game too. If you've never used Stegos to raid and now that they've got that update, they're pretty powerful because if someone starts pushing you, you can go from defensive mode to like bleed mode and they do a ton of damage. And then mix that with you being able to shoot off the back. Pretty powerful creatures now. They always were. I mean, they used to be like the raiding meta when you'd be able to uh, sit on their back and not get picked or anything like that. And it would just like soak for days. But now you can actually like die off the back of them, which kind of sucks. Ooh, some theories. Theories would be good. 25. 95. Theories are always nice to have. They're pretty powerful, too. Um, I'm not seeing anything, but I think I did just realize I don't have any cryopods. So that's problematic. I might have to go get cryopods in order to tame all of these things. Yep. 
I'll do like a little run over the, uh, I need to check for, ooh, that's, that's not a bad thing. What, what are you, huh? Please be a high level male. No, low level male though. Be cool to find a unicorn too. Be the one YouTuber on the server with the unicorn. Be kind of ideal. All right, that one went away. Someone may have picked that one, actually. I feel like that was a pretty new drop. No Ross lives over here, so maybe he is over here right now. Who knows, though? All right, looks like there's a theory up there. I'm not seeing any trikes or anything like that, so that kind of sucks. Uh, what's that down there? Longer tail, not a trike. All right. At least we're lower on weight than we were. That was a Carno Taurus, to be exact. That's a nice little metal run. Ross has a really awesome base location. He's got metal all around him. He's got a cave nearby. I'm gonna have to go in some caves to get some of that loot. Gotta get that cave loot for, for raiding purposes. I also wanna know, I know that the author of this map started to tell us that there was like a special couple of areas to teleport to. I have no idea how to get there, mind you but apparently there is ways to travel around this map. So that's kind of cool. All right, looking for none of those things. That is just a death trap if you try and tame something there. Um, where exactly, there's the lake. I want beaver stuffs. I think it might be a little further up actually. This is like the valley of... Is that a unicorn? It is. It's a freaking unicorn. Alright. Should be right around here. This is where the unicorn was last spotted. Alright, unicorn. I have come to save and tame you. Where are you now? <gasps> there it is. Okay. No pressure. Just need to hit E at the right time. And hopefully it doesn't do anything stupid and get us both killed. All right, Griffin. You're, you're good to go. Let's grab some extra weight, I guess. Why not? All right, so we need to, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're avoiding, we're avoiding. So is he, apparently. Oh, come on, unicorn. All right, here we go. This is a quick one. This is very important. I need to not mess this up, and I hope nothing shows up here. Yes, stay on the cliff. Don't jump in the water. Do not jump in the water. Because if you jump in the water, we're both in big trouble. Yes, unicorn. Yes, unicorn. I don't even know what level it is. I literally just saw it and I had to have it. Oh, come on. One more feed, I think. One more feed. One more. Just one more. All right, unicorn. One more feed. And you're mine. No, 99%. How could you, unicorn? Don't you, don't you, don't you ditch it this late, bud. We need perfection here. We need perfection here. Come on. Hey, 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 we got a unicorn. We got a unicorn. And it's so cool. Yes. Yes, we did get a unicorn. And yes, it is beautiful, and yes, it is going to undergo some screenshots here. Because it is a beautiful team of justice. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty! Yes. Alright, now we're gonna go ahead and cryo it, because, you know, as soon as you tame something like this, you need to cryo it. It's kind of the general rule of thumb. Can't believe I got a unicorn. That's so freaking awesome! All right, so the griffin is 91% and the other stuff kind of happened. So I will bring you guys back once we've actually pulled it all back into base. How awesome. 
How freaking awesome. Maybe I'll just like let it end there because I don't even care if I tame the rest of this stuff. Oh, I'm just so excited. I love that I got a unicorn right there. Pretty awesome sauce. So anyways, hopefully you're enjoying this. Make sure you guys check out some of the other playthroughs as well. And uh, if you're if you're not enjoying it, let me know what I can do better for you. And, uh, you know, have some fun. And hopefully we'll see you soon. All right. Teach. Out.